In this video, we're going to work with Integromat, Google Sheets, and the Google API. What we're going to do is solve a problem a lot of SEOs have and a lot of other people have who are mapping, converting addresses easily into longitude and latitude coordinates. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sheet of addresses and we're going to attempt to convert them into longitude and latitude. And we're going to walk you through that using Integromat, uh, my integration tool of choice. Hey, I'm going to try something really quickly that I haven't tried in a long time. It's doing a demo on the fly um, with my music playing in the background. Apologize if that's annoying for anybody. Um, what we're going to do is I have a series of addresses. Uh, sheets. New. I have a um, series of addresses. Um, I've been working with some people on this. Okay. Some hotels. All right, and what I need, probably I just need this information right here. I want to figure out the longitude, 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 and latitude. And uh, latitude of this particular these particular locations. That's what I want to do. So in order to do this, in something like uh, Integromat, I'm going to pull off something that I haven't tried on the fly in a while. Let's see if I have the add-on. I have the Integromat add-on. Okay. I'm going to actually go in and I'm going. I'd be interested in how some of you pros do this. Yeah, let's use Google Maps. So the first thing is okay. Add one, let's call it. We're gonna do we're gonna say get address. Get Go into here. Making a trigger column here. Integra map settings. I'm going to this is what I want here. They want me to put it here. Okay, so it's going to trigger when I have changes, okay, and when I want for the change, I want it to convert an address into geographic coordinates, the address I'm going to get, does it say, hmm. I'm going to be pulling from B, C, D, and E. All right? One, two, three, Main Street. Marquette. Comma, space, Wisconsin, space, that. Let's make it home. Okay. And actually, let's just make it, make it one at a time. And then I'm going to Google Sheets. I'm going to. Update the row. Actually, do 
we go on Google Maps. I'm going to search a rail. Which you are looking at you too, actually. So I'm looking. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Row B would be the name, right? Yep, no. Row A is the name. Save that. And do I want to do that? I'm going to update a row. And we have to use. We had to use that particular version. Excuse me. Row number, sorry. So I'm updating G with the longitude, and I'm updating H with the longitude. Seriously, I have no idea if this will work. So this is going to, in essence, watch for changes in this sheet. So I'm going to change. See how it's doing. Hmm. Rolling through. Hmm. It's very interesting. It's cool how it worked, but it's uncool how it skipped. So now let's go take a look at what happened. So maybe it's running again? Maybe it ran too fast? I think that'll update if I go after that one. I'm trying to see, oh, see, look at that. Maybe I went too fast. All together, very interesting. Oops. Hmm. 
So I'm making a deliberate. Fill this in. So I've totally fixed that. So I have no idea why that worked, but it has to do with a bunch of iterations, and there were a crap ton of iterations here. So let's walk through what happened. It saw one change in my spreadsheet. Saw so the value 99, last the last one we did. It took the data from Florida. It gave me a longitude and latitude. It looked up that name in Florida and then populated it with the longitude and latitude from this step. And that's Integromat working. Hope you have a good one. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. I hope you learned something here. I hope I was helpful. Like I said, if you want the blueprint, which is the mock-up of this, you can study this a little bit more. It's available inside my uh, Facebook group under files. Uh, if you have any other questions, just comment below or join the Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you.